Welcome back to Full Moon Flock and Stock. We're using our truck and in-laws trailer or wagon. We had to bring a couple of chicken tractors over to somebody else who bought. And then I had to grab this door, old door and a pig hut. And the, both of these are gonna be used for something similar. We're actually gonna use this as a sheep sh shelter on the back side of the barn there. And then that door, we're actually going to build up a one of three structures to protect the, give the sheep shade. So we're taking stuff that, let's be honest, normally this thing would have been kind of shit canned and, and thrown away or taken the scrap off of and burned or whatever. And we're going to build something out of it. So how many of you guys are actually using it, your junk on the farm, to build other things? I can't be the only one. But it's going to be kind of cool. So we'll make skids out of 4x4 four four pressure, not pressure treated, like regular 4x4 four four posts. Um, we'll pull it behind the tractor. Maybe the gator. We'll have to see. Um, but we'll kind of do that. And then... The farrowing room will give you guys a little bit of an update. We'll walk in here. We're actually going to end up putting like a canopy tent out here for storage um, to make room in the barn um, for feed because we have so much stuff in here that is not farm related. I got a, my dad's lawn tractor, our zero turn. So, in here, you can kind of see that we have these backboards up. And with the backboards up, what that'll allow us to do is put, we're going to put what's called FRP board on here. And that will allow us to wash down the walls. So, it'll be on this back wall here and then that sidewall and maybe a little bit of that wall as well probably because then after that we'll put four by four posts on here so we can put the sections off but what we're going to do is we're going to make like an eight by ten area in here and then we'll have two twelve by sixes roughly um pens they're gonna have like four foot gates and there'll be an alleyway on this back here it's kind of hard to see with all this stuff um and that will allow exit out of here and then we'll put a from roughly this post right here over is going to be our um vet area that fridge is way too big but kind of what we're looking at we, we got we got to get this post in and the back wall set at least the the posts in this way so that we can finish the insulation and i have not really been pushing i've been so busy with everything else that this has not gotten done and I kind of wish it has, but kind of this is what we're looking at. I think that it'll give us plenty, um, plenty of room. There'll be three farrowings. We just need them in here for like a week, week and a half. And after that, they can go out into a bigger pen, um, but that allows them to get custom during the winter months. That's that, that first initial few days if they can get hardened after that, they're usually pretty good. Um, and this will be heated a lot better. Right now we have that, we have this electric heater up here. We're gonna put a propane heater in next year, I believe. Um, so it'll kind of be a little bit better. But this is kind of what we're looking at. We're refurbishing a lot of stuff around here, making it do with what we need it to do. And I'm hoping by the end of this month to have the sheep over here. I got to finish off a couple of pens for one for them and one for the pigs. So we'll see. But as of right now, things are looking pretty good. 
And it's Full Moon Flock and Sock. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. And uh, I'd like it to hear from you guys. Bye now.